Let's talk about reincarnation, folks. Statistics show that 93% of people who believe in reincarnation do not wear seatbelts. Hmm. Yeah, reincarnation. We're coming back, people. We are coming back. Like Lindsay Lohan to rehab, we're coming back. Sure, it may surprise you. You may think, no way, it can't possibly happen. But doesn't that same thought run through your mind every year when Jersey Shore comes back too? <laughs> oh yeah, we're coming back. Now I can understand when some people don't believe in reincarnation. What I can't understand is when people who believe in God don't believe in reincarnation. They believe it's one life and then heaven or hell eternally. See, I don't get that. Eternal hell. What kind of God would give you one short life and then stick you in eternal hell? Eternal hell. <laughs> That's like being stuck in a dentist chair forevermore and without the suction tube. Or like uh, being forced to watch golf for the rest of time. <sighs> now let me be clear. I'm not interested in bashing anyone's religion. Believe me, it's just this one point that I don't understand. The trouble is, as I see it, nobody is 100% absolutely and literally without exception or deviation all bad. I mean, obviously, except for Wall Street CEOs. So this would mean that if, you, if you've done a little good, but mostly bad, you're off to hell. Forever. I mean, if you save a nun's life, but uh, covet your wife's sister who teaches Zumba in Southern California, <laughs> You're dancing with the devil for eternity. If you adopt orphans and feed the continent of Africa, but one time happen to sell crack to a school kid and then set his house on fire after impaling his invalid grandfather on a tuba, one time, you're swimming with sharks forever and a day. All right, maybe that last one was a bad example. The thing is, if you've done mostly bad, that means more than half. So if you've been 49% good and 51% bad, it's off to hell with you for eternity. Now that's tough. I mean, if you flunk out of school one year, they'll let you go back and redo it. Even George Bush got a second term. When I got into trouble when I was a kid, my father grounded me for a week. He didn't ground me forever. That would mean that my father was more compassionate than God. And believe me, I do not think that was the case.